Hello students, welcome once again to our channel Score High to Soar High. In this video series, we have been uploading Tamil Nadu State Board Syllabus Class 12 Physics Unit 2 Current Electricity Derivations, I mean to say 5 mark question and answers. Today in this video, we are going to see the 5th derivation. State and explain Kirchhoff's rules. Answer Kirchhoff's first rule, in other words, it is also called as current rule. Now let us see the current rule. The algebraic sum of the currents at any junction of a circuit is zero. The same law is given in the form of an equation. Sigma i is equal to 0. Here, i stands for current and sigma stands for summation. It means when we add up all the currents that enter the junction and all the currents that leave the junction, then it will become 0. So, even if you forget to write the definition in the exam, you better write down the equation at least. Accordingly, you will get the marks. Now, explanation. It is based on the law of conservation of charge. What is meant by law of conservation of charge? It means charges are neither created not destroyed at a junction. Now, have a closer look at this diagram. Here comes the junction A and cu current I1 and I2, they enter the junction, whereas the currents I3, I4 and I5, they leave the junction. The charges that enter a given junction leave the junction. It means the amount of charges that enter a given junction, all of them, they leave the junction. Next point. Currents that enter the junction are considered as positive, whereas currents that leave the junction are considered as negative. At junction A, I1 plus I2 minus I3 minus I4 minus I5 is equal to 0. Here, the currents I1 and I2 are given positive sign, whereas the currents I3, I4 and I5 are given negative signs. In the next step, because I1 and I2, they enter the junction, whereas the other three, they leave the junction. That's why they are given negative signs. In the next step, therefore, I1 plus I2 is equal to, if these three terms go this side, they will become plus. So, I1 plus I2 is equal to I3 plus I4 plus I5. Now, let us learn the of second rule with the explanations. Kitchoff's second rule, it says that in a closed circuit, the algebraic sum of the products of the current and resistance of each part of the circuit is equal to the total EMF included in the circuit. In other words, Sigma IR is equal to Sigma Eta. This Sigma stands for summation of the products of current and resistance I into R. And here this sum, Sigma stands for summation of all the EMFs in the circuit. Now, for better understanding, let us learn the Kirchhoff's second law with the help of a diagram. Here comes the diagram. 
actually this diagram is not given in your text for the sake of understanding it has been taken from another text now here is a circuit in this circuit three cells are there at the same time 1 2 3 4 5 6 resistors are there now what does the rule say first we need to multiply the currents and their respective resistances so here now let us take the loop or a path that is a b c d e f and a so according to convention if this is our direction from left to right in other words the clockwise direction and in the same direction if the current flows then the current direction is taken as positive if it flows in the opposite direction then it is taken as negative our moving direction can be taken either in the clockwise direction or in the anti clockwise direction it is left to us so now let us see this i1 r2 we need to multiply them up then here i3 r4 and here comes a cell the cell also has got an internal resistance that is r3 so in here we need to multiply this current i3 with r3 also then here i3 and r5 and here i4 into r6 and again here comes another cell it also has got an internal resistance r1 so i4 into r1 small r1 then i1 r1 is equal to now how many cells are there in this loop e3 and e1 now see the direction so in the case of e1 this cell the current moves from negative terminal to positive terminal so the emf is taken as positive similarly in this case e3 again here the current moves from negative terminal to positive terminal so here also the emf e3 is taken as positive so we have already found the products of currents and resistances then we have summed them up this sum is equal to this sum of the emfs in the circuits that is e1 plus e3 as they are positive now let us consider an another loop a b e f a here in a similar manner i1 r2 then i2 r3 then i2 and the internal resistance r2 small r2 then i4 r6 and then i4 and internal resistance r1 then i1 r1 we have found the products then we need to sum them up all this sum should be equal to the sum of the emfs that is e1 and e2 now what about in the case of e1 the current moves from negative to positive so e1 can be taken as plus but in this case the current is moving from the positive terminal to negative terminal so here the emf should be taken as negative so in this case how can we write, write e1 minus e2 hope you would have understood this concept now let us see the equation for the closed loop a b c d e f a i1 r2 plus i3 r4 plus i3 small r3 plus i3 r5 plus i4 r6 plus i1 small r1 plus i1 r1 is equal to e1 plus c3 have already explained it clearly then for the closed loop a b e f a i1 r2 plus i2 r3 plus i2 small r2 plus i4 r6 plus i1 small r1 plus i1 r1 is equal to e1 minus c2 
so after understanding this concept if you go back and learn the kits of second rule you will be understanding very clearly now this is the explanation for the second law before that we have already learned the kits of second rule by means of a neatly drawn diagram it is only meant for your better understanding not for the examination sake so when this question comes you no need to draw the diagram and write down all those things now we can continue with the explanation of the second law it is based on the law of conservation of energy for an isolated system the product of current and resistance is taken as positive when the direction of current is along the direction of the loop means when the direction of current is the same as the direction which we take in moving from one place to another place in the loop for example here comes the clear explanation here is a diagram this is terminal a and this is terminal b and here comes the resistance and this is current's direction when we are going from a to b so we are moving in this direction the current is also in the same direction so here v is equal to plus ir the product ir takes the positive sign next point the product of current and resistance is taken as negative when the direction of current is opposite to the direction of the loop it means when the direction of current is in the opposite direction to the direction of our direction that means the direction in which we move for example here when we are going from b to a now see the diagram terminal a and terminal b and this is the direction of current but in this case we are going to move from terminal b to a so our direction is this and current is in the opposite direction so v is equal to minus ir the product ir takes the negative sign next is the emf is considered positive when we proceed or when we move from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the cell now have a closer look at this diagram and terminal a terminal b and here comes a cell this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal so here we are proceeding from a to b that means we are going to move from a to b that means from negative terminal to positive terminal so in this case the emf takes the positive sign next point the emf is considered negative when we proceed from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the cell here comes the diagram for clear understanding when we are proceeding from b to a that means we are going to move from this terminal b to this terminal a in this direction that means from positive terminal to negative terminal so in this case this emf takes the negative sign with this this video has come to an end let us continue our studies with another derivation in the next video like share and comment and subscribe our channel and click the bell button for more videos thank you